Aloha. In this section, we're going to be talking about functions uh, with branches and loops. Uh, it's a very short uh, section, essentially. <laughs> the entirety of this is to let you know that uh, inside a function, you can use branches, loops, and other types of statements uh, within the function blocks. So uh, pretty much whatever you do outside of a function, you can do within a function. So I'll go ahead and share my screen with you to show you a couple of the examples that they had in the book. So uh, up here, they did this thing where they calculate an eBay fee. Uh, so you've got the, uh, the definition up here. It's taking sell price as the, uh, the uh, price they were going to be selling at. And then they do their calculations here. Notice that we have branching going on. We have if, elif, and else. So it's uh, doing its calculations, everything with that and then it has returned the fee. So then uh, in the main part of the program, it's going to uh, input from the user what the uh, selling price of an item is uh, in a float form. And then it's going to say eBay fee equals, and it calculates that fee. This is, uh, uh, notice that it's using it as part of an expression here. So we've talked about uh, mathematical expressions being, or mathematical functions being called in uh, expressions. You can use them as that. And if we had a larger, more complex uh, function going on here, we could, uh, you know, the modularity aspect where we could, uh, you know, take that complex calculation and break it into smaller calculations like calc eBay fee, and then maybe uh, do another function off of that. So <clears throat> anyways, uh, this is uh, the entire point of this is just to show you that uh, within here, you've got normal statements, you've got uh, branching going on, you can do looping if you wanted to. You could set up some while statements, whatever. Inside this function, inside a function, you can do pretty much anything you could do outside of the function. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and close that example off. And then the next one, uh, the next example that they show, they're pretty much just wanting to show you that uh, using functions and function stubs, it's an elegant way of, uh, or it's a, you know, it makes for a more readable program. So you've got get numbers. You've isolated your get numbers functionality up here, and then you have uh, these other functions. You've got print all numbers, you've got print odd numbers, and you've got print the negative numbers. And then you can call on these outside of here. So when you're reading your program, it looks pretty straightforward. Nums equals get the numbers, so you know you're going to be getting your numbers, and then you're going to print your numbers, then you're going to print the odd ones only, and then you're going to print the negative ones. So when you look at it, it's quite obviously uh, obvious what it's doing. And you look up here, and the functionality isn't implemented yet. So they've got these function stubs where they're just printing out, hey, numbers. So uh, this is to let you know that it's going to be implementing it in the future. So actually, I think in the book, they have you do your own. Uh, uh, they want you to flush these out. So anyhow, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, essentially, within functions, you can do uh, whatever you do outside of a function, you can uh, branch, you can loop, uh, you can have regular statements. And also uh, keep in mind that uh, by making uh, functions and naming them very appropriately, descriptively, when you go through your main code and you read through it, it just makes sense. It's very readable and understandable. So that's the entirety of this lesson. So a uh, quick, easy one. Uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.